Over the last few months, Stranded Deep on Console has gone through a number of changes. And so I went back through all my old tips and tricks videos to pull out all the tips and tricks that were still relevant and add new ones that I've discovered along the way. So here is 20 tips and tricks that every new and returning player should know when coming back to Stranded Deep. Tip one. Starting out in the game as a new player, you're quickly going to find that water is the most important resource that you just can't find. You may be tempted to drink as many coconuts as you can to stay hydrated. This, of course, would be wrong because you'll get sick and it'll lead to dehydration. There is, however, a way around this. This tip comes from a viewer named Oscar, and he called this his 210 rule. So what you want to do is you want to drink or eat two coconuts in a row. Bring up your watch, and you're going to watch the time. So it was 7.49 for us and 10 in-game minutes, which, as you're watching the clock right now, is actually 10 in-game seconds. So wait 10 seconds, after which you'll be able to drink or eat your coconut again. You won't get sick and all is well. Tip two, palm fronds, when you break up the bunch, will leave five palm fronds on the ground. You can only hold four in each inventory slot. So for each bunch, you'll be taking up two inventory slots. But if you leave the bunch on, you can just pick them up. Just like this. And you can hold four bunches in each inventory slot essentially holding 20 palm fronds in each inventory slot, making it easier to transport or put in wood containers. Tip three, eventually you're gonna run out of palm trees, so you won't have palms put in your water still, and you are not gonna have sticks or enough sticks to fill up your campfire so you can cook. You will have fibrous leaves from yucca and young palms. Now you can take these fibrous leaves and you can put them in your water still. You can also put them in your fire pit. Tip four, fibrous sleeves are gonna be really important in the game. You're gonna get these from young palms and yucca trees that you find around the island. Every time you see these, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and knock these down and you don't even need to pick them up if you don't want to. You can leave them on the ground where they fall and they will not despawn. Fibrous sleeves are gonna be really important for you because you're gonna use these to make cloth, lashing, along with fuel for your water still and your campfires to cook. Tip five, when you're on larger islands with large rocks in the center, like cliffs, go ahead and climb up those cliffs and on top you're gonna to find bird's nests where you can harvest eggs to eat. Tip six, your meat will eventually spoil and if it's raw, it's gonna spoil pretty fast. And if you've cooked it on the fire, it'll take a little bit longer, but it will eventually spoil and if you've smoked it it'll take a long time but it will eventually go bad so the way around this now whether you're just catching small fish like this or you're catching boar or snake or you caught yourself a shark keep your food whole right wherever you're going to store it i like to keep mine by wherever i'm going to cook and as i need it i'll just pull out my knife and i'll skin what i need and cook it so if I have a couple sharks, maybe I'll only pull a couple steaks off of one shark and leave it. As long as there's at least one more steak to gain off of that shark or that boar, the animal will stay whole until you take the last one and your food will not spoil. Tip seven. If you sleep every night, you're going to go through food and water resources a lot faster because when you wake up in the morning, your food and water will be diminished greatly. Instead, sleep every other night and use the time at night to do different things like crafting or gathering resources that you may need. You will eventually get a weary status and you will need to sleep at that point because you're gonna be moving very slow. So make sure every other night you get a good night's rest. Tip eight, submerged wrecks are a lot easier to spot at night. Just look for the bubbles on the surface of the water. Tip nine, you don't have to have everything that you're gonna craft in your inventory to craft it. You can actually have it on the ground, just be near it and quick craft just like that. 
It's going to make it a lot easier if you have a full inventory and you're trying to make something like a water still and your rocks are on the ground that you need to make your water still, you could still craft it. This leads to tip 10. So if you lost something in the grass and you're looking for it, it's sometimes it can be pretty hard to find. But if you go ahead and pull up your crafting menu and you find something that needs that item, say for this, where we're looking for lashing. We pin that to our screen. As we get close to it, because we can craft off the ground, see right there, I must be near it because I can craft that refined knife. It shows that I have the lashing available, so it's somewhere near. There it is right there. You can use this for anything like stones, fiber sleeves, anything that you've dropped on the ground. Maybe you lost a peepee -pee plant or you're looking for a peepee -pee plant on the ground. If you go ahead and pin antidote and you go look around, you may find it a lot easier. Tip 11. If you really want to maximize your resources and get everything you can out of them, before just making an axe, go ahead and make a stone tool and use the stone tool until the durability is low. You can tell the durability, the bottom part of your inventory screen. Once it reaches a low point on the durability, go ahead and make your ax. Use that ax until once again your durability gets low and then make a refined ax. Tip 12. If you go ahead and wait until your refined ax is almost broken and you make yourself a plank station, you go ahead and break that plank station down again your refined axe will be returned to you at full 100% durability. If you have two refined axes, you can trade them out, essentially having an unlimited refined axe and never having to craft any more of them. Tip 13. This next tip is very similar to the palm frond tip, where if you keep them whole, you can carry more in your inventory. For this tip, with the logs, it's the opposite. You can only carry one log in each inventory slot, but if you make a plank station and make them into planks, you can carry four planks in each inventory slot, essentially letting you carry four logs. Tip 14. If you're looking for something specific and you find a container first, don't look inside it. Take it to where your save point is, save your game, and then open it. If you don't find what you're looking for in the first time, just reload your game. The items inside are randomized each time. Tip 15. When you're on another island gathering resources, face the island that you came from, use your spear, and throw it right into the sand. It's going to mark the area that you came from. Tip 16. When you're throwing spears, use your hand as your sight. Point your finger at it and throw. Just like that. Tip 17 comes from viewer Oscar and you guys will remember him because he gave us the coconut hack earlier in the guide. So this one is to fight sharks and honestly it blows my shark hunting method out of the water. So what he said is when you go into the water you want to hug the wall or the ground. Pull away one inch off of that the shark is going to attack you. It has to do with the hit boxes that the shark has. So what you want to do is literally just, as I'm doing here, is putting my back or my shoulder right against the ship. And as you're seeing, the shark is not attacking me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this up for a few minutes just so you guys can see the whole fight. He won't attack at all. Tip 18. Always mine clay from the top. This way you can see which way it falls down. If you mine it from the front like this, your view is obstructed and it's harder to find. Tip 19. Having a larger raft with sails on each side, north, east, south, and west, makes getting around a lot easier. So if I hit this sail, I'll go this way. If I hit this sail, obviously, I'll go this way. And if I hit this sail, and that sail, I'll go in a diagonal direction. It makes getting around in the game a lot easier. Now that I'm in that direction, I can just keep going this way. 
just make sure that as you're going, hold on to the rudder because sometimes the game can lag out when you're in the ocean and you can literally lose your raft. And you, if your raft with the sails down and it starts to go, potentially it could go outside the map and it will be lost. I've done it. And finally, last but not least, tip 20. For fresh water without a water still, go ahead and grab four fiber sleeves and make yourself a lashing. Grab yourself a coconut and make yourself a coconut flask out of it. Once you have your coconut flask, go ahead and drink the water. The coconut water is now fresh water. So if there's any tips or tricks that I did not cover, leave those in the comments section so that everybody can benefit from them. And if there's anything that you guys want to talk to me about, I live stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Times are down in the description below. Until then, I am Granddaddy Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next.